so many people come to us and say, should I use cash or should I use accrual basis? And really, it depends. And now I hate seeing saying it depends, but it really depends on your situation. And one thing to note with a lot of the accounting software out there, you can potentially do both or at least get reporting on both. So there is no straight answer as to which option is best for your business. You're going to want to talk to your accountant with the situations. But I do want to talk about some you know, typical guidelines that we discuss with clients when we're thinking about cash versus accrual. So cash basis is typically best for smaller businesses, businesses that don't have any inventory, service-based businesses. This is typically when cash is going to be ideal for you. Accrual is going to be best for bigger businesses, businesses with inventory, um, businesses that have shareholders or investors that they need to report to, or if you have kind of a complex business, typically those are going to be on an accrual basis. Now, Now, I did mention that you can kind of do a combination of both. So most accounting software allows you to switch between cash and accrual accounting. So that means that you have the ability to run on a cash basis, pay taxes on a cash basis, but still track accounts receivable and track accounts payable for internal purposes so that you are make sure you know how much money is owed to you and how much money you owe to other people at any point in time. But then when you go to the reporting, you can switch or toggle between cash versus accrual. So that's kind of a nice functionality about using an online accounting software like Xero or QuickBooks Online or something like that.